Fish on, fish on. You guys. When was it when you first do the uh, Kingfish tournament, the Greater Jacks? The second one, second one, um, I don't know, it was back in the 80s. I'd say probably the mid 80s. Yeah, it was quite a bit different back then. Slower boats and faster trolling to fast boats and slow trolling. Yeah, the first tournament, which I didn't fish, I was flounder fishing when they came in. Yeah, I said the next year I'd be fishing it, and I did. Today we get to do the uh, media day for the 37th. Uh, annual kingfish tournament. This year has been just uh, fantastic kingfishing. Probably one of the best years we've had in a, in a long time. So we uh, loaded up the boat, headed out, got uh, bait, pogies. They were easy to come by, you know. Two casts. Two casts. The second cast we probably had 100 pounds of pogies. Yeah. I could barely get the net in. And the first cast I think was the bigger ones and the second cast the smaller ones which were good for chumming. Yeah. So that worked out good for us. And that was one of the things we really did to, um, to keep the fish fired up is we were constantly chumming with live bait. Just taking uh, three or four pogies at a time, flip them out in different directions, you know, throw them back with our baits to basically create like a live school and, and you just get the fish excited and get them you know, ready to feed. Yeah, but they were ready pretty quick. It didn't take long when we get the fish down. The first hit I think was on a downrigger. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would have swore it was a shark all the way up till you got to the gap. We had one fish making a good run, and uh, Mike got on him and fought him pretty good. And we chased him around. He'd get up kind of close and he'd take off again, and he showed the signs of a bigger fish. Yeah, if you don't sit there, why are you resting so over there? Finally got him up to the boat and, and gaffed him, and he was, he was a nice fish. Yeah, I think 26 pounds. He got close to a boat uh, called the High Roller, and um, it was funny because, you know, he get, he takes off and goes that direction. So you know, we're all talking on the radio. I said, "Hey, man, we got fish. You know, heading straight towards you," because he was looping around towards us. And he's like, "Well, we got a fish too." And it was crazy because the fish we had on was first place. The fish they had on was second place. So there was like a, I don't know, a pack of just big fish right there, and, and we just happened to each hook up. You know, it's, it's pretty crazy how that works, but. Yeah. It was, they were good fish. Yeah, they were. You know, the bite was still going strong, and we, you know, got hooked up pretty quick. That first time was practice, wasn't it? Hey, we encourage catch and release anyhow, so. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good to hear. That's right. It's all about conservation, guys. It's all about conservation. There you go. Nice job, Cap. Right. Stuck him on the first run. And uh, even a pretty unique catch. Yeah. A bird. Yeah, yeah, we caught one that little bird in Disney. A little, uh, uh, one on the little little mermaid. mermaid. Uh, man, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Kayla, what's that bird on Disney? The mermaid one. Hello? Scuttle. Yeah, we caught a scuttle. We caught a scuttle. The little turd I was trying to get the hook at me, pecked me. Did you see him do that? <laughs> I heard him. like, you know, it's like you. I'm not a savior. So we get him undone and we threw him back and uh, he was happy. And then I think I seen another boat that was hooked yeah. up a bird one time. It was a good fish bite and a good bird bite. So, you know, yeah. we had him from both directions, hit him from below and on top. You might be second. You ready? Dang, I don't know. That's supposed to be the other one. Yeah. yeah. Not quite. They were catching kingfish. Probably for a square mile oh, yeah. around this, yeah. Just a huge school. Yeah. On the depth recorder, we didn't mark as much bait as we did Saturday when we were out catching them in the same spot, but the fish were still holding there. So there was, I guess, bait scattered or something, but the fish were definitely there, and they've been here for like a month, you know, fighting hard. Early. 
and occasionally a kingfish. Hi, Jeremy, you work now? We ended the day with what uh, six kings. Threw back a short one. Threw back a cobia. Yeah, short cobia. Had some sharks. There you go. Um, third place on the real hazardous, seventeen point nine. Dan McCartney. Woo! And our biggest fish today, also on the real hazard, 26.15 pounds, Mike Louder. It was, it was pretty cool, you know, it's, it's a good year for king fishing. Tournament's fun, tournament's coming up if you want to fish in it. You know, I would encourage everybody to sign up for the king fish tournament and go out there and catch you some because they are up there and I think they were catching them at the red top yesterday, so they're probably scattered all up and down the beach. Yeah, classic beach fishing. Right, and, and your bigger ones tend to come right there off the off the beach too, so you don't have to go far out. I think the weather, well, it's a little far out. It's hard to tell with the weather, but it's been being real good. Yeah. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Had some great kingfish action. Got a lot more videos coming up, so we'll see you next time. And if you want updates for our new videos, just subscribe. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that, and we'll see you then.